Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> this is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkutche, and we've got our flags, right? You already know the Team Hard Life one that we've already flown at the beach cleanup. However, we got some more flags in. We got our shark bait flag right there. We got our open flag, so now people know we're here. I mean, <laughs> there you go. We got our what is this? Fresh dead bait right there. We got our shrimp flag too. So when we get shrimp in, obviously it's gonna be fresh dead and stuff like that. So, oh, there goes that color. That's like, oh, it looks good on both. Okay, cool. And then we also got in our surf weight one for a lot of people that are looking for weights. And then we also got in a, whoop, drop that. Our fishing leaders so that way people understand what kind of gear we got here already however I don't have a way outside to stage the gear so what I did was I went to Home Depot today uh, some, some steaks and some PVC what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes in the PVC and I got the steaks to be uh, or the PVC to be big enough to go around the stakes once they're in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hammer these in and those will be my markers for my PVC. But right now I've got to get my PVCs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, cool, to hold my flags. And they'll be on a kind of a permanent basis so that way once I put them out we don't have to worry about unhooking them and this and that or somebody stealing them throughout the day. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Well, I wanted to use the drill But I can't find the bit to go into the socket So I have to do it by hand <clears throat> I'm gonna leave a little bit of play there so that way when the wind blows it. But now what I'm gonna have to do is definitely cut off these. Wow, I didn't even hit the right hole so that didn't go there. I'm gonna leave it because I'm already there. And I gotta cut those off. So, let's see what I can get. My Dremel's there.
hang one up just so you can see what I'm kind of doing and then we'll get back to it. Now we can put some real signage up so we'll let them know that we are here. I think my, by me hammering it like this, it's creating a burr on the top. So I'm gonna get them all set and then I'll come back with my grinding tool and clean them off. swung a sledgehammer in a minute all right all right now it's time to go back inside to finish doing the uh, the flags Woo, what a workout definitely out of shape which is good because I need to get back in shape no it really didn't do me any good
And I was gonna pre-drill all the holes on here. However, we measured the flags and they all are not the same exact length or width. I guess they were trying to ensure they had a certain amount of edge around each of them, but yeah, definitely glad I didn't jump to that one. my medicine trying to get some flags out there so it's a little easier. intentionally but it's working out that way I'm liking it that way they can see all the flags now I got to work on the other ones to get those out here but looking good I uh, went yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? No, the day before. We went out with uh, Hellcat rods and I tried to break them on cast and stuff like oh, that. Okay. They held through. I mean, they're, they're pretty much an unbreakable, unbreakable rod, but you just got to find out what you want to do with the fishing rod. Yeah, like for me, I'm distance casting yeah. and hard fighting on the fish and stuff like that. And so when I was casting out the two rods, do you follow my YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. Did you yes. see the two bows? One was like almost bowed over, the other one's kind of straight. So the almost straight one is my my fishing rod here yeah. compared to theirs and i was hitting about the same distance but also too once i started going for increased distance because now i'm warming up yeah. that other one couldn't compete with the distance oh, okay. so when i was hitting 100 yards on my rods he was still at 80 yards even if, even though i was putting the same cast into it yeah. same weight same bait it wasn't able to hit that distance because you lose when i start going like this you lose a lot of the momentum because the rod bow takes it up and stuff like that. So, but that's gonna be stuff that I'm gonna be talking about on the uh, on the after the catch part. Okay. So that way I can really break it down because they're like, well, there's two different type of, and they're all nitpicking it like that, but they're missing the whole point of what I'm doing. Like, yeah. everybody hears these rods. Well, will it work for this application? So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it there so yeah. that way they can see. Okay, yes, no, no or yeah. you so know, this is yeah. manufactured this rod or what do you? Which about, which one? Uh, the rod versus. Uh, Okay, so we get the rod blanks and we used to, we got them right there. They're the Vexen and Tackle Industry, the small rod blanks right there on the right hand side. 
Well, what it is, is they're an 81 50 pound class rod, but it's super light. So I throw 10 ounce weights, I get 125, 150 yards on cast, and it's only nine foot. However, their rod is seven and a half foot, and it's pretty much unbreakable. They, they put it in the tailgate and they were slamming the, the tailgate on it and it, it didn't break. If you do that one of mine, yeah, it's gonna break. But that's gonna be the give and take. You can't have both worlds in one rod. Now, if they were to create an unbreakable rod that could still hit that kind of distance, that'd be the ultimate rod. Everybody would be going for it. Yeah. But they don't have it, so you gotta weigh out. What do you want more? Do you want distance and this and that? Or yeah. do you want unbreakable and not hit that kind of distance? Because like for river guys, they don't need distance. They're just gonna go yeah. from here to there, so they're fine with that. Me, I'm fishing the Gulf. I'm trying to hit it just as I can yeah. because I can cast up close with any rod, but I need one that does here and over yeah. there. So now I'm sitting there, I'm gonna weigh it out. I'm like, this is what I want, this is what I want to do, this I want to fish it, and I start weighing out, this is what I don't want to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you, you start looking at it. You know, it may work for me, it may not work for you. Yeah, you may yeah. say, hey, you know what? I fish, I fish more of the, the rivers and bays. So I really don't need, come on, boss. Uh, we don't, you're doing all right, but uh, so you, you sit there and you're going to weigh it out. Your fishing to be different from mine, and then I'm just giving out the knowledge of what I saw, how it worked, and this and that. Yeah, you're testing it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you're going, gonna, you're going to make a judgment call like that. You know, I'm not saying it's not the best rod. It is very applicable on hundreds of different ways of fishing. You just got to weigh out which is going to be more important to you. Mine might come out on top, but theirs may come out on top on each individual person. It's a 50-50 shot like that, you know what I mean? So, which is good, because I like that. I like being able to depend on a rod that's unbreakable. I, that's what I've been looking for. And now that I know how the company works and stuff like that, because he was also giving me behind the scenes of how they support vets and this and that. And so the Hellcat rods, really the Hellcat rods? The Hellcat rods, yeah. So because the way they are with business is the kind of business I like to do business with. You know what I mean? If they're going to take care of their customers all the way through the sale and even after the sale, that's yeah. the kind of support I want from my customers. So, yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be a go. I just need to do, get my signs up and then I'll get back to the computer and start doing the next step and stuff like that. But I was really impressed with the way they handled and stuff like that. I just, uh, I'm going to probably be more partial to the extra heavy or the heavy rod versus the medium heavy and stuff like that. So it, it's going to be a give and take and yeah. stuff like that. But I'm also going to see if they can do longer. They can do it like a nine or ten foot rod that's like that. That should be something yeah. really, you know, yeah, might get yeah, yeah, yeah. that you're looking for. Yeah, especially if they can build a ten footer like that that's unbreakable. I mean, I don't know. That you know, and do it in an extra heavy, shh, that <laughs> might be the next best thing, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it. I really am, because I'm I'm really interested in, in that and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're right. we'll rocking it. Yeah. So go ahead now. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to we're going to go to the pack. Uh, okay. Uh, you going to fish up the jetties? Yeah. yeah probably. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, let us know how it's doing out there. Yeah. Wanted to go, but then I was like, man, I need to get some signage out. Like, so I've been on this trip. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And where were you going to go? I don't know yet. I'm, um, I was thinking about doing the jetties like that, but I may fish the beach because, you know, it's also the season for check corrals and stuff like yeah. that, too. So. Uh, I'm whatever. I'm whatever yeah. fishing. <laughs> as long as yeah. some kind of catching. Yeah. yeah. So. A bad day of fishing beats a good day of work. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Later, guys. So what you up to, boss? I'm on, sir. How you doing? Hard at work. Hard at work. I mean, this, is some, this is something I've been waiting for for a long time because these flags just rolled in. Well. The second portion of the flags rolled in today, so I was like, okay, I can't, I can't pass up another day and not get them out there, so. Hey, Albert, what's the difference between the, the gauges on the surf bank? What it is, is depending on the type of action you're looking for. The light gauge is for a little bit of current to a little bit heavy, and then you go to the medium gauge for extra heavy current, and then you got the Hurricane days out there that you go with the 1 8 gauge. So it just, it really all depends what kind of current you're battling, what kind of bait you're trying to put down, it will determine which weight you're using. I normally go out there and I try to use the lightest weight or gauge possible because I don't want to have to fight it if I don't catch anything. Yeah, because I noticed, I think on the heavier gauge, 
obviously it's going to grab better. Yeah. And it really sticks in there really well and it kind of comes on the pull out, you know, sometimes. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Depending. Yeah. And that, that may be what you're looking for if it's extremely crazy weather out there, you know? So it really all depends. Well, we killed it last uh, Sunday. We were there at We looked more oversized bull reds than the back row. Wow. Yeah. We had, uh, between the four of us, uh, we, we got land in one black drum and it was a keeper, and then the other eight fish were oversized bull reds. No, no kidding. And, and uh, we were just. Uh, Sea lice and chopping off with a fish lice. Hmm. Yeah. How big what was the biggest bull red? Uh, 38. That ain't bad. 38 and the smallest was 32. Hmm. And that's because they were asking me where they're hicking some bull reds. I was like, you got to go to the jetties. I mean, yeah. you can't really say, oh, okay, go to Causeway unless they are there and you know they're there. The jetties, you have more chance of hitting bull reds because yeah. they'll we were there. I guess we got there. Last time we fished at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, and uh, we fished the middle of the pier, uh -huh. closer to the wash station. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we weren't even, you know, I spirit, not even casting more, even midway the channel, we were literally getting right on the edge. Yeah. yeah. I guess we must have just had a school that was going through every now and then. Yeah, that, that'll work. I, I tell people all the time, you just, sometimes you don't even have to cast far at all, dude, but, yeah. but I tend to, find out by putting one up close, one in the middle, and one way out there, and I figure out where they're at. Or sometimes they're everywhere, it don't matter where you cast, you know? Yes, sir. And if they're like that, I still go deep, just because I want to be able to give them a chance to fight. <laughs> you heading out there today? Yes, sir, we're gonna go to Causeway for a little bit. Um, I'm thinking my, my seven-year-old, he's never really been on a pier. Uh -huh. um, so this is me like my first time taking him. Uh, we're thinking maybe like right when you walk in, it hit like that little patio area right there. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, because it's more open, he can play around and stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna go out there and just fish for probably maybe 10, 11, and then I'm gonna go back tomorrow morning, right when they open up and then hit it from the morning till 11. I don't know. Is that? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> I jump from one beam machine to the other instead of. Do you know if there's any hang up around that cardio area of that causeway? The what? Do you know if there's like a hang up there or anything? There used to be. Uh, I don't know. I, I've, I've never, never fished that left hand. Okay. So. The only reason I stayed away from it all the time is because that's where they have the boat. They're setting up the boat launches and stuff. So I just rather stay away from it because if I start setting up and then have to reel in all these rods real quick. Yeah. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> Ratchet on the seat with the screw.
sand now and there. Give me a sec. Our bottom, make sure they fit into each of the PVCs. There we go. Well, definitely gonna have to take a grind to it, but overall, a successful day. Hard at work. Hard at work. Let's see how it all looks. There we go. I like it. I like it. Oh, man. Beautiful day.